Mastering Titles, The Capitalization Challenge. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we are diving deep into the world of English grammar and capitalization, focusing specifically on the fascinating topic of titles. Whether you're reading a book, watching a movie, or even writing an essay, knowing how to properly capitalize titles is essential. Let's get started. Titles are used to signify importance, denote hierarchy, or simply grab attention. By properly capitalizing them, we provide clarity and show respect for the subjects they represent. For instance, when you read the title, Lord of the Rings, you instantly know it's about something significant, right? When it comes to titles, there are some general rules you should always keep in mind. 1. Always capitalize the first and last words of the title, no matter what part of speech they are. 2. Capitalize all nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. This includes words like is, are, it, an, etc. 3. Do not capitalize articles, conjunctions, or prepositions that are three letters or shorter, unless they start or end the title. Examples include and, the, of, in, and, to. 4. Capitalize longer prepositions, such as between, through, or against. Examples. The catcher in the rye. Note that the is capitalized as it starts the title, but in and the are not, as they are small prepositions. Of mice and men, here, of is capitalized as it starts the title. When capitalizing titles, learners often make a few common mistakes. 1. Forgetting to capitalize small verbs or pronouns. E.g., the girl who knew too little, should be, the girl who knew too little. 2. Capitalizing every word. E.g., the Lord of the Rings, should be, the Lord of the Rings. 3. Overlooking longer prepositions. E.g., Dances in the dark, should be, dances in the dark. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you expose yourself to titles and the rules for capitalizing them, the better you'll become at getting it right. And there you have it. We've explored the ins and outs of capitalizing titles in English. Whether you're reading, writing, or just browsing, Understanding these rules will certainly enhance your grasp of the English language. I hope this video has been enlightening. Keep practicing, and until next time, happy learning!